Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. It's your boy Crazy Lazy back again with another video, man. Hey, my bad. I haven't been putting no videos out for like a, you know, I said a week or so. But I've been recording, though. I got some pre-recorded videos and shit. And it just, I don't know, dog. I haven't been um putting them out. But uh, if you just bump to my motherfucking channel, man, so I say this is an inspirational channel, motivational channel, spiritual channel. Hey, bro, like, um, most of my videos I be saying, I speak on through experience and shit, you feel me? And I know for a fact we are spiritual beings just living a physical reality. But um, this topic of the vi uh, this video is be careful what you pray for. You feel me? Be careful. Especially, especially, bro, if you know what's, if you somewhat know what's going on, you will get what you pray for. And it's just, it's pressure, bro. It's like, it's pressure, man. Um, before I even get into the topic, I'm gonna tell y'all some shit. Like, the other day, right, I had seen a dude, you feel me, that I, like, you know, I grew up with, you feel me? And um, I seen him at the gas station or whatever. So I'm walking out or whatever. I don't know, but my face just be instantly just, I don't know, I guess people don't forget, you feel me? Because I be forgetting people's faces sometimes. But he was like, man, lazy, man, what's up, man? Man, I thank you for all the times that you have my back. And I'm like, damn, you still remember that shit? What the fuck? That's what I'm saying in my mind, you feel me? I'm like, bro, no pressure, man. It ain't nothing, man. We, it ain't nothing. So he was saying, he was speaking on some other things or whatever about his like brother and shit. His brother is currently incarcerated. He's another local rapper, and um, and he, he he said something to me that like stuck with me, bro. When I was walking back to my car, he was like, "Bro, God fuck with you, bro. You feel me?" And like he lit me in my eyes and said that shit. Like when he said that shit. That shit gave me chills, you feel me? That shit, I swear to God, that, one. that shit gave me chills. And, like, he was looking kind of rough, you feel me? If a, if a, if a motherfucker would have seen him, they would have thought, oh, he a bum or whatever. And it's, and it's, and it's, a, it's a passage in the Bible, bro. I'm, I'm, par I'm, I'm paraphrasing. It's like, bro, be careful you entertain, bro. You can be entertaining angels or demons. <clears throat> and, like, from bro just telling me, like, oh, God, fuck with you. That shit was just scary, you feel me? And um, last weekend, you feel me? Like, I had a great time. Like, I was with my cousin on birthday bash. I was out there or whatever. And um, I had a, uh, I had prayed to God for something. Like, I was like, God, man, I want to see. I, I ain't asking him. I want to see how Solomon felt, you feel me? Because, you know, Solomon had a lot of females and shit on his ass or whatever. And like, I, I guess I, I, I asked God to like to compare me to him or some shit. Like, you know, I want to see how he feel. You feel me? And like, I kind of feel what Solomon been going through. Yeah, he's wise or whatever. But like, when it comes with the female situation, it's 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 a, it's, it's, it's a headache, bro. Like Solomon was dealing with all them females. He was going crazy. He was going crazy. How many? females he dealt with he was going crazy and it's like i was praying early you feel me and i was thinking to myself i don't say i think i was thinking to myself something came to my mind like bro you you prayed to be similar to solomon in a, in a in a sense and i was like yeah i did you feel me coming to find out but that shit pressure bro because them females crazy bro you feel me and it was a passage in the Bible that just kept saying there's nothing worse than a, a, a scorned woman. So I'm like, damn. I ain't trying to break no females' heart out here because I ain't going to lie, though. You feel me? It's, it's a bunch of females that just be, you know, they be fucking with me, but they fuck with me to, to high exceeding limits. Like, they literally telling me certain things. And some of them be spiritual. Some of the females be spiritual, bro. They be like, bro, it's something me. It's something different about you it be shit like that and you know some females do be having they be running game and shit you feel me but you 
can feel it, bro. You can, it's, I don't know, bro. You can, it's certain females, they just, ah, oh, that's just scary, y'all. That's just scary. But that's what I had prayed for, you feel me? You know what to feel like, how something to feel, you feel me? And, like, <clears throat> I'm feeling the effects, y'all, the negative effects. The positive effects, yeah, you know, females get to choose, you know, whatever. And I'm not going to say just semen retention because it's, it's times that, bro, I ain't got no energy, bro. They just be choosing, bro. It's just crazy. Like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, like, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm living this experience, dog. I'm in this shit. Like, I'm really in this shit. So if you're a chosen one, bro, you feel me? Be careful what you pray for, bro. Because God going to give it to you, boy. Can you hold? Can you, can you handle the weight? Feel me? Yeah, he's gonna give it to you. If you he ain't gonna give you nothing that you can't handle now. Nah. But shit. When you chosen, bro, it's a lot of responsibility to buy you. It's a lot of responsibility that you gotta hold on to. So just be careful what you pray for. Deuces.